For what purpose does the gentlewoman from New Mexico seek recognition? Madam Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 4881. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 4881, a bill to direct the Secretary of the Interior to take into trust for the Pascua Yaqui Tribe of Arizona certain land in Pima County, Arizona, and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentlewoman from New Mexico, Ms. Leger Fernandez, and the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from New Mexico. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the measure under consideration. Without objection. Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. H.R. 4881, the Old Pasqua Community Land Acquisition Act, introduced by Natural Resources Committee Chair Grijalva of Arizona, will direct the Secretary of the Interior to take approximately 30 acres of land into trust for the Pascua Yaqui tribe. The Pascua Yaqui tribe is located in southern Arizona near the city of Tucson and has approximately 22,000 enrolled tribal members with a 2,216 acre reservation. Before the federal recognition of the Pascua Yaqui tribe, Yaqui leaders, Local leaders and others worked together to establish a home for tribal citizens. In 1921, these efforts led to the formal Pascua village in Tucson, Arizona. Before the formal federal recognition and the establishment of a reservation in 1978, Former Congressman Mo Udall of Arizona introduced a bill to establish 202 acres of land southwest of Tucson to the Pascua Yaqui Association. While many families relocated to this new land base, many other families remained in the Pasqua village known as Old Pasqua. With the growing city of Tucson and the geographic distance from the formal reservation, the tribe has worked to ensure the tribal members living within the Pasqua village have remained cared for, including working with the Bureau of Indian Affairs to designate Old Pasqua as near reservation lands. Earlier this year, the tribe entered into a state negotiated compact with the state of Arizona to provide gaming activities in the Old Pasqua community. The Secretary of the Interior approved the compact in May 2021. Further, the tribe signed an intergovernmental agreement with the city of Tucson to transfer a parcel of land within Tucson into trust for the benefit of the tribe. This bill ensures the Old Pasqua community remains intact with the tribe's homelands. And the bill will allow the tribe to conduct gaming activities, expand economic development opportunities, and engage in cultural practices on their historic land. I'm pleased to co-sponsor H.R. 4881, which is a bipartisan bill with support from the Pascua Yaqui tribe, the city of Tucson, the state of Arizona, and the Arizona delegation. I support the old Pascua Community Land Acquisition Act, and I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of the bill. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentlewoman reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. Gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, the Pascua Yaqui tribe owns several parcels of land that it would like to use for gaming. This bill allows them to do that. In May of 2021, the governor of Arizona and 21 tribes amended the Arizona Tribal State Gaming Compact to build a third gaming facility in the compact designated area in Tucson. The compact designated area is known as the Old Pasqua Community, an area with deep historic ties to the tribe. The compact requires land to be taken into trust by an act of Congress to open the gaming facility. H.R. 4881 does this by requiring the Secretary of the Interior to place any land owned by the tribe within the compact designated area into trust for gaming purposes. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I reserve the balance of my time. Reserves, the gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield as much time as he may consume to the gentleman from Arizona, the chair of the Natural Resources Committee, Mr. Grijalva. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and, and, and thank you to the uh, gentlelady from New Mexico, Chair Fernandez, for, uh, for the time, and to the ranking member, Westerman. Uh, I'm proud to represent uh, the Pascoyaki tribe in Arizona's third district. Uh, we both call Southern Arizona our home. The Yaqui people 
uh, are integral and historic part of the fiber uh, of Southern Arizona, uh, rep reflecting our history, our cultures, and our people. H.R. 4881, the Old Pascua Community Land Acquisition Act, will take a 30-acre parcel of land into trust for the Pascua Yaqui tribe, the area known locally and to the tribe as Old Pascua Community. As, as, as the gentlelady from New Mexico outlined in her comments, as well as the ranking member, this is, uh, this is the initial focal point for the Yaqui people when, as a uh, fled persecution, some resettled, some were already as part of the community into Old Pascua. At the time, in 1921, it was an isolated area outside the community and outside of Tucson. Well, things have grown out around them. And I think that uh, the Yaqui community in Tucson, Arizona, considers Old Pascua not only an, the formally recognized area for the community, but also a sacred site for the tribe. Before receiving federal recognition and a formal reservation south of Tucson, many Pascua Yaqui families called Old Pascua in Tucson their home. Today, many families still call Old Pascua home, yet they continue to fear lose they continue to fear losing their Yaqui knowledge, culture, history, and traditions due to the encroachment of a growing city of Tucson. Other areas of concern for Yaqui families include the lack of ownership for sacred, cultural, traditional, and religious grounds. The tribe has worked tirelessly to ensure that, th that they take care of their tribal citizens. Earlier this year, as, as Mr. Westerman outlined, the state of Arizona and the tribe negotiated a state compact. This compact included gaming activities in the Old Pasco community to promote, promote the tribe's governmental operations, cultural and religious activities, job creation, increased tribal housing, social and community services, health care, and educational facilities. The tribe has worked tirelessly and with the city of Tucson to address their concerns, with the county of Pima to address their concerns, with the state of Arizona, and have entered into an intergovernmental agreement supporting the legislation and the land transfer. Since this agreement, the state has negotiated a compact that reflects that agreement and approved it, and the Department of Interior has approved it. For 4881 is a bipartisan bill that will raise the tribal standard of living, improve system coordination and integration of service delivery, and promote the ongoing transmission of Yaqui knowledge, culture, history, and traditions for future generations. The, this bill is a bipartisan bill. It merits uh, your support. And I would add that it is, uh, for the people in Southern Arizona, an extension of a reality and a confirmation of something that already exists. And uh, with that, let me yield back to the chair and, and thank, thank her and the ranking member very much for the time. I reserve. The gentlewoman reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. The gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Madam Speaker, this bill once again demonstrates that there is strong bipartisan support for support for our Native American tribes and indigenous communities. I want to thank Ranking Member Resterman as well as Ranking Member Don Young on the Subcommittee on Indigenous Peoples. The other thing that this bill does as has been um, highlighted by Chairman Grajalva is that it comes out of collaboration and conversation with everybody on the ground. The local communities, the state, the county, the tribe, the peoples of Southern Arizona are asking us to take action, and that is what we must do today. I urge my colleagues to support the bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman yields back. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 4881? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, gentleman from Virginia. Requesting a recorded vote, please. Pursuant to section 3S of House Resolution 8, the yeas and nays are ordered. Pursuant to clause 8 of Rule 20, further proceedings on this question will be postponed.